Hello, my name is Eduardo, and I am here with another tutorial. And this tutorial is for Happy Builder. As I told you in the previous uh, videos, I show you this um, personal server, okay, based on App Inventor, and it has many features, okay. And today I will show you one of these features that it's a very common use uh, feature that is the Gallery Viewer, okay. Well, I will show you here in the app, okay. So here we have the Gallery Viewer, that is this kind of line with pictures. Okay, you can scroll it, and when you touch it, well, you see the big picture of that. Well, pretty simple, right? I will show you how to make this in Appy Builder, and I will show you something extra. For example, if you snap or you clap quite uh, loud in your near the phone, check, we have this. You play a very simple animation, for example here. It can be a clap or a snap, snapping your fingers. And it looks like interesting. I was thinking about making an app for kids, okay, with animals, and then they can make some sounds and they can see this interaction. Okay, well, let's start with the, this project. Okay, remember for this project to work, you need Happy Builder, okay? Uh, well, let's start and let's create a new screen to make everything again. Well, here we have the new screen. For this uh, thing to work, you will need some pictures. I created some pictures at the same size, okay? So I use 512 uh, times 512, okay, so it is like a square image, I guess it works well, so all of them are the same, and I use something very, uh, something that it will help you, okay, when you name your pictures, please uh, try to use this, like numbers, one, uh, one, dot png two three four five okay and i go to 10 okay i will show you why okay well after you uploaded all your pictures okay so i have all my pictures here okay let's start creating here the interface for this well the first thing that we are going to need uh, it is well obviously gallery viewer okay so you have the gallery viewer and you will need an image the image that we, it will be in the middle of the screen. So we are going to use the layout, normal uh, horizontal arrangement for the big picture. And then we just set it to uh, width to fill parent. Okay, and the other in automatic. And then we center. The image, it will be like center over there. And that's it. Then we have this guy. So, and we're going to modify some things and I will show you how to make this uh, to make it look like a little bit better, okay? For example, well, something that I like to use, uh, sometimes it is Inkscape, okay? Just to make an idea, to have an idea um, about the final look of my app. So I will show you how, okay? Because I like to show you the way I usually work with this stuff. Um, well, we have <clears throat> Inkscape, we are going to do this, okay, so let's imagine that our app is something like this, let's, this is my screen, and I always like to set it like, if it's like portrait mode, is 4, 5, and 12, something like that, and maybe here, something like that. Okay, this is just to, uh, to have an idea about the look of the final app. Now, as I told you, I want to have here a frame for the picture. So maybe a um, square, obviously. So let's use just imagination. This is just a simple sketch about the image, uh, about the, the app. And then I want to have the gallery viewer over here and that's it okay maybe we can have some here some images or something in the background okay to make this app look better so well this is just to have an idea okay well 
Now, if you check this image, it is like you seen if we say like this one two. Okay, I am not very specific about the values. Okay, but for example, I want it to be using like something like the forty percent of the size of the height of the of the the screen okay so it is using almost okay but well, i think it is like the 40 percent okay so i'd like that okay to use the 30 percent and then in here we have some space okay so we have this space and we can get some of the values more or less okay so how well so here we have this okay so this is the space i want to have here in this part maybe for uh, advertisement okay something like for ads i mean for my atmo uh, banner okay maybe for that i want to have some space so just to make my app look better okay sorry well now you can do this like that okay check so let's see that is 200 okay yeah more or less 200 talking about this scale and then you just need to calculate for example if 200 200 equals how much okay if uh, remember the full size it is like this one equals the 100 percent okay so in that case you should you just do a very simple math okay so 200 times this divided by this and you have something like that so for example you have 200 one, two, and this is divided by that's it well, not very simple math but that is the idea and then you will get the percentage okay with that thing so we can uh, make it with a calculator and it's like the 20% okay so we can set it to 20% this is the 20% of the screen 20% of the screen and that's it okay and if you check we duplicate this one it is quite the same like this one so maybe you have 20, it's 20, some 40, 80, and you have a 20% for the gallery. Okay, I like that. So maybe we can set it like that. Maybe we can set it less than 20 just to have some free space. Okay, what about 17% um, over there and 17% over here, and then we have 30% here so this is just to have an idea okay using the it's we can see that the, the high of the of the screen is the 100% well we are dividing this okay and we have almost like the 100% and if we set it maybe this guy to 20 20% and that's it so we can have some space if we check well, we can say that we have 20 plus 17 plus 17 plus 40. It is 94 and we have 6% of space for something else, okay? So we can have it like that or we can increase here or that, okay? Well, so now we have these values, right? And we're going to use these values, okay? Just in a moment. So well, as I, ah, well, just remember this. This is a space, blank space, blank space. So we can use something, okay, like a dummy to fill this space. We can use an empty, an empty image or we can use a label, an empty label. So we're going to use an empty label if you want. Okay, or an empty image, it's okay. So let's use some, um, or we can use an horizontal arrangement. Okay, yes, I guess we are going to use the horizontal arrangement. So 17%, remember, 17%. So let's go here and let's add first uh, here, oh sorry, layout, an empty arrangement. So it can be horizontal, 
so it is at the top and we just set it to fill parent and then we need another one that is in uh, between these guys so we uh, fill parent and that's it I guess we have all the components we have this ah well I told you that we are going to uh, make an animation using the clapping thing we are going to go to sensors here in Appy Builder and we try to find sound sensor and we add it over there and that's it okay listen is just to enable this thing but not now we're going to start working with this thing uh, with the app well I just remember for app inventor we have the for the horizontal arrangements first we're going to scale everything we need the 17% for the horizontal arrangements 17% and then we think in the other guys so for that we're going to create a procedure that is scaling okay so first I am working with the design okay so we have scaling and then we're going to set the horizontal arrangement height that is uh, the thing that I am interested in. Uh, based on the screen, it is just the percentage. So let's say that using the screen high, times, so to, for, to get the percentage or the 17 percentage, it has to be line times zero. And that's it. Oh, sorry. That's it. That is the 17% of the height of the screen for the horizontal arrangement. And this is the same for the other horizontal arrangement, remember? So for the one that is uh, in this part, the last one. Okay, that is the one that is in between. So we set it to that thing and it's the same. Now we need to set the image height. Remember image height it is 40% according to this thing it is 40% okay so we want the image height to be 40% so we're going to do almost the same we duplicate this thing and we set it to 0 0.4 that is equals to 40% and then for the width of the image well we wanted to have a square image okay so in that case for the width we're going to set the width the same size of the height that we have just modified so we get here and we get high the image high and we have that thing. okay so almost done with the design and now we are missing just the gallery gallery view okay for the gallery what well, we you have two sizes uh, with the gallery you have the thumbnail Okay, that is the image that you it will be like displaying and the component okay the component itself okay so well let's use and set both okay so first the component that is the height of the gallery view and we're going to set it to 20 percent so 20 percent and we are going to do the same we duplicate or and the thumbnail height. As you check, this is if you are uh, if you don't have Appy Builder, this is super super similar to App Inventor. Okay, so it is quite the same, just with new blocks and this thing. Okay, well we have this, and we do the same. Uh, well, for gallery view, for this part, for the width, I want to set it to fill parent, and uh, for the thumbnail. The width of the thumbnail it is like a square remember okay so we want we are going to use the thumbnail height that we just calculated here and that's it we have almost these things oh sorry let me see if we can return to this thing right are you want to yeah I am pretty sure about that and that's it okay well we cannot see anything because we don't have anything and we haven't load anything well this procedure you have to load it in the screen initialize and just to make sure everything fits correctly you can use a clock 
but in this case we are going to trust okay that everything will load here so you do the scaling and then now we are going to add the images as you remember we have 10 images okay we have 10 images and all of them have a uh, number okay that is a consecutive number so that it will help us to make this thing easier so for that first let's create um, a list okay this list it will have all the images so let's create a list first the variable and you write um, list images and we're going to set it first as an empty list okay we can make it like uh, write it and um, all the numbers or the names okay and it's not a big problem but we're going to make it I will show you how to make it a, a little bit uh, faster okay so what if you continue adding more and more and more images well we're going to do this let's go to lists okay and then here in list we are going to well first let's go here because we're going to use a loop to uh, load all these images we're going to go here and it's a wild test um you know what let's include this into a procedure let's call it loading images so that's it and we're going to add the while test so basically the idea with the while test is runs the block in the do section while the test is true we're going to test something here okay and for that we are going to create a new variable that it will be a counter we are going to modify this counter and we are going to set it first to zero well that's it then we're going to check if this variable counter it is less than zero than, than zero than 10 sorry because we have 10 images remember okay well if this is less than this number we are going to make a very simple procedure we're going to do this we are going to increase this value plus 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 one we're going to increase this value plus one basically that is the idea okay plus one and we are going to add a new item to the list the list that is empty okay and remember these items has this kind of a uh, consecutive number well this is the thing we're going to go here at add item to the list the item that we're going to add to this list okay which list well to the list of images add this item but the item has a name and a um, file extension okay the name obviously is the number that we will have here and then the extension it is png because well my images are png if your images are jpg okay well use that one it is dot png and that's it okay so every time it will make a uh, this thing will make a loop okay it will check out and you know get global content at the beginning it's zero and then it goes here and increase zero to plus one it is one and then it's going to add this item okay to this list it's going to add one dot png and then continue because the, te the test continues uh, true okay you know it is uh, less than 10 so now it's going to increase the previous value was one one plus one it is two and then you have two okay it's another item in the list that is two dot png until gets to the last one okay that is basically the idea okay and then you have this you have all your lists full okay and then we are going to load this list in the component the gallery viewer so for that we are going to go to gallery view and you have images and this thing is going to work with a list and the list now is empty i mean it's full so it's going to take all the elements over there okay so well let's see this part and let's see if we have something working or not 
we have scaling and we have this one let's load this let's refresh the screen uh, let's go here horizontal arrangement but just let's move this just to refresh the screen and let's wait oh sorry we have undefined uh, so you know what let's first load the images and let's see if this fixes something yes first we have to load the images then we have the component over there but now we don't have anything in the empty image okay i mean in this image holder that we have here in the big one okay so it's because we need to set an element and we're going to set the element from here we're going to go uh, if we have the images then we are going to set just for the beginning we're going to set image picture to let's call this a random image pick a random item list and the list it has to be list images and it has to be here and then we see if we have another problem or not Okay, well, we have gallery, picture, we cannot see this one, maybe there is a mistake, but we, well, we're going to continue with this, just, uh, I will fix it in a moment. First, you have in gallery viewer another component, well, another block, that is gallery viewer, gallery viewer after picking, well, after picking, we can set an image to the image holder that we have over there, and we can use this property that is image name, so if I click on this yes. mm. well when you have this kind of problems when you are trying to load something on the screen initialize you can fix some of these mistakes well let's see if this can work here with a clock and we're going to set it to 40 and we're going to enable the, it can be like enabled because we're going to use it and now pay attention here we are going to use this a clock it will help you to load these initial procedures that sometimes it, they have to be with images okay because sometimes uh, even app inventor or rapid builder they have this problem that when you are like trying to load some lot of things at the beginning they cannot uh, do it okay so well let's go to scaling so we are going to use the scaling here in this clock timer Scaling it will run and 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 run, but we are going to stop it. Okay, to stop this, we're going to make here initialize and we're going to set it to zero. And then we're going to increase this value plus one, sorry. We're going to increase this value plus one. Okay, well, we are going to do it like this, check, it is a loop, but we are going to stop the loop if we get a number here in the uh, initialize, okay, so let's use an if condition, if equals Now we want to disable the clock, this clock. So we're going to disable this guy. Time and enable equal to false. And that's it. Now let's try it. Let's refresh the screen, center, blocks, and then let's wait if we can have something with this. And that's it, we have, okay? So that is the way to fix some of these things, okay? Because sometimes App Inventor or Rappi Builder, they, are, they don't have this time to load uh, this kind of uh, 
precising, so calculating things and images, okay? So, and then the clock is like stop. Yes, okay? So now to make sure the clock is stop and it's not working, we can use this one and just to check it, false. It is not working anymore, the clock, okay? And um, because we set it uh, like this value that it's a uh, 40, that it's pretty fast, okay? So while we are like checking this page, so we can see uh, the image is over there. Now we have over there, here, we pick a random item list and we want to set the same for the current image that is selected in the gallery viewer. So let's go here, selection, let's set the selection to the picture that we have in the image when. So we have the picture and then we are going to refresh everything to see if everything is working and that's it let's just move this just to refresh the screen and keep your fingers crossed let's see dun, dun, dun. that's it okay the image that is currently uh, selected it is over there and we can refresh again just to make sure everything is working And then you have to change, maybe the other one is going to change. Well, it is not changing the selection. And that's it, you have to change it over there. Oh, well, maybe we can insert this in the other one, but I guess that's okay. Well, we set the image, we set the gallery viewer to image one picture, and then if we click here, we have this. And that's it. And it looks quite similar to the one that we were working on. Um, on Inkscape, right? I mean, the proportion or everything. So you have over there, the space over here, 40% of the image, and then you have this, 17, and then you have an empty space over there. So quite the same, quite the same. Now you just can add some, uh, maybe some colors to the screen. Maybe this thing, pink. So colors add. It's for gentlemen, and that's it. And gallery viewer selection picture with no light changing, but well, that is the idea with this stuff, guys. We want to set the gallery view selection to this. So let's wait because two procedures will be running left and then you have over there that thing. And that's it. Okay. Now, what about the clapping thing? Well, if you check here in images, we have something called animation, okay? And it says, this is a limited uh, form of animation that can attach a small number of motion types to images. So you have different ways to use this, okay? You have this scroll right slow, scroll right, scroll right fast, scroll right left slow, etc., etc., and hyper jump. Now, to use these things, these animations, when we uh, use the sound sensor, we're going to go to sound sensor, okay? And we're going to enable the sound sensor. Maybe when we load the screen, we listen, we set it to that, and we have a value. So now, for this value, I will use something like 
if the value is like 100 the, the level this is the max sound let's use something like 7 70 okay so we are going to use a condition if the sound it's bigger it's bigger than care the level of the sound oh, sorry it's if the value of the sound it's bigger than a uh, 70 I guess 70 it's okay well we are going to do the animation okay so let's go here but we don't want to play just one animation we are going to make a list of animation okay so let's call it here let's create this list animation presets uh, let's set them to make a list we're going to make a list because it is a list of values and we're going to create this thing I guess it's like I don't know maybe like three four five six seven eight like eight values hyper chunk well these names they call here okay so here in this kind of help you have the names over there so you have to respect uh, the casing and everything we have the list and then we are going to just to pick a random item from this list okay when we get a very high uh, well when we have a variation in the sound levels here and here and let's see I, that's it I'm snapping or clapping and then you have different kind of animations and that's it basically that is the idea with this kind of um, gallery viewer in a happy builder you can add some sounds every time you uh, click on a picture you can add some information about maybe the name of the girl that you are picking okay so you make another list for that okay and that is the idea that is the idea that's the way we make a very simple gallery in um, in happy builder okay so we are using this and um, but just to sum up everything okay first we create a procedure to load the images so for this we use a loop okay just to create the list uh, in an automatic way okay so the list it will have a it was for to contain this kind of uh, images that they have a consecutive number from 1 to 10 so if you check here we created a variable the counter and then we will we, we were increasing this variable every time we uh, completed the loop okay until get to 10 that is the number of items we have we wanted to have in the list so every time we were adding an item to the list yes and then obviously it was the color counter then no, the number for example the first one it was one and we added with the extension we joined it with an extension png for the image after we finish this loop we got uh, 10 elements in the list we set the gallery viewer to the images okay from this list okay so we fill it with this list then we set the picture the picture the it was like the main picture we created a picture like a holder and we selected a random item list from this list that we just created and then we just set the gallery viewer the selection to the image picture then uh, ah, of, of, uh, also we scale everything okay we scale all the elements uh, using the percentage of the screen we use Inkscape to me to have an idea about the final look of our app so imagine this is my screen so this is like the proportion 40% of the screen 17% 20 and that's it 
if you check India well it looks quite the same then uh, this procedure we were having difficulties or problems to load it uh, on the screen initialized for that I created a clock <clears throat> and this clock was running uh, in a kind of loop okay using this variable that we call it initialize and it was running four times four times and repeating the scaling the scaling the scaling the scaling okay just to make sure that we <clears throat> load these values because if not we were having problems with for example with the picture in the in the middle you can use this procedure when you want to make sure everything is loaded okay everything is loaded and obviously we don't want to have an eternal loop okay so that's why we stop the loop once we got to the four uh, number four so we want to repeat four. If you want to make sure better, right? well, you say, Mom, I want to, I want my loop to run six times now, and that's it. Well, then we disable the clock when we got to this number, and we can set the gallery viewer selection to the image picture that was in the, well, in the image holder. And basically that is the idea. Then we just use something that we, it's pretty cool, that is the sound change, okay, the sound sensor. So every time you have a variation in the in the levels of the sound, well, you can trigger an action. Okay, for example, in this case, I was using this value, just if the value was uh, bigger than 70, okay, or more than 70. In that case, you have it over there. Okay, so I say the image. For example, if I snap my fingers over there, nothing happens because it's not very loud. But if I do it uh, uh, louder you have for your trigger the animation and maybe you can use this uh, uh, this feature for other things okay maybe to trigger the camera or something like that okay I'm not sure so uh, well that is basically the idea of this uh, very simple app and I was using as I told you Appy Builder okay that is a personal server based on App Inventor and it has this kind of features okay so it's it was pretty simple to make I mean the gallery okay so I guess if I make another video about a builder I am interested in work with the to creating a lamp you have seen I maybe you have seen this kind of apps that is like using the LED okay so maybe we can work with this so well my name is Eduardo I hope you like this tutorial and understand some of the concepts here okay so most of the things that you saw uh, in this video are, uh, are uh, are easy to make with Appy Builder, but also you can make some of these things, okay, or use these kind of uh, procedures, for example, to scale in App Inventor also, okay. So these kind of procedures and the clock to avoid problems while you are loading uh, the screen for the first time or something, okay. This is very useful procedure, okay. Well, my name is Eduardo, as I told you. Please share this video with someone who's learning App Inventor, okay, or someone who's starting with Appy Builder, okay. I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.